Okay. Cool. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're all having a heckin' fantastic day or night, wherever you may be. Tonight, uh... I was figuring I might play a nice little classic point-and-click adventure game. And what better point-and-click adventure game to do than a good old Sam and Max? I think that would be a little bit of fun. Nice way to end the weekday going into a weekend. Just a goofy little game. Yeah. Uh, I believe this is split up into different levels that are each maybe an hour or so. Depends on how you play it, but we'll see how far we get. Might do the whole game, maybe not though. Kind of depends how big of a potato brain I am. Have a lovely little look at this. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like we have uh, six episodes or chapters. Interesting. Uh, episode one, Culture Shock. The former child stars of the Soda Poppers TV show are wreaking havoc all over the neighborhood. All heg, not the Soda Poppers. But this is no ordinary tale of child stars gone awry. There's a dark force behind the poppers' baffling antics. Using only their wits and slew of heavy household objects, it's up to Sam and Max to save the day. Oh, heck. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down to save the day. Episode 1, let's go. Sounds good already. I like the art style, it's pretty good. The cat has come for snuggles. She's come to join on the gaming fun. We get to start at each episode with one of those. Quit moving around so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a <laughs> sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <laughs> don't scream this time. Ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy okay. Christmas even a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be the cheese. sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dry trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. <laughs> memory of a dried trout. Sounds like me. I remember that. That was from the cartoon. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You uh, continue <laughs> to baffle me, little pal. Cottage cheese. Oh my goodness. No dice. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> Last month's donuts. Don't oh, throw that no. out! I'm saving it for a science experiment! You bet, little buddy. 
roadkill calendar. I like they have a VCR that's classy, that's good. Love them. Case files. Closet, uh... Wait. What? We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. <laughs> it's autograph. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, yes, the cheese closet. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Uh, can I do something about that then? 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. <laughs> Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. <laughs> Good old Lou. What actually is in... Oh. Big gun. I feel like Big Gun would go very lovely with pile of cheese. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products! Sam, no, the cheese was innocent. No, innocent? I think not. My innocent cheese! How could you? It was voila. so young. Swiss cheese, or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. <laughs> so demanding. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offer. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed. And I am unable to comply with your request. The a heck? list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. I'll give you as follows. <laughs> now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. <laughs> ain't no rat, well. <laughs> Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Oh, hell yeah. Torture your ears. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or oh, when no. I last washed them. Who cares? Oh, no. I'm a rat, remember? A hey, dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, well. <laughs> Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out nice. the window? Oh, hey, Hacker Man, hello, welcome. Would... How you doing, Sweet Bean? Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. Not the butterfingers. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! <laughs> Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have oh, fallen onto well, pavement from you. a great height. I hope you're doing I give well. up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on <laughs> our way. Yeah! Rapid hello! Oh! <laughs> Emotional damage. The rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. <laughs> Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. <laughs> I could love this. So silly. 
Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. <laughs> it feels good to be back in the old saddle, doesn't it? You've been watching too many John Ford movies again. Let's go beat up some thugs. <laughs> Hades, hello. How you doing, Hades? Good to see you again, Bean. We should probably get down to the corner store one of these days, like Here. the commissioner said. What are we waiting for? A sale? Sometimes the wheels of justice turn slowly, little buddy. What were you... What have you been streaming last? Make sure to be healthy. Okay. Thank you. Want to answer that question? Heck, that's okay. I hope things get better for you, though. Hugs and snooks. This is the Nick Knock Rapid. What the heck? Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Warmner store. Is that what's over here? <laughs> Gun slicker. Ooh, a sale on lie. Mm. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just Violently. you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Yes. NASA. Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be oh, the no, death not of munchkins. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there. Yowzers, that is one ugly ki Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! <laughs> <laughs> exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order! Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, there's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know <laughs> any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. <laughs> the heck? The cheese. Specials. We need to get more. I mean, we had a closet full, but I'm... I don't think it's enough, really, honestly. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. <laughs> Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think oh, no. I know. <laughs> so we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. Then not even the National Guard can help us now. <laughs> Not even the National Guard. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. <laughs> so, what do you want to buy? Go ahead. Back and forth. Heck, I got it. I still hope that things go all right, though, Hades, for you. And 
known you meant the Sam and Max game. These are great. Yeah. These are good. Fun little games, aren't they? Stabs, hello. How are you doing, Stab? Welcome. What have you got? Well, I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese, cheese sale. I want that. And Me too. I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Oh my heck. Tyler, hello, welcome. I think you... I think Tyler you... Rubium just subscribed. Oh Meep. Meep. Merp. Beep boop borp. Thank you for the heckin' subscription with your Twitch Prime. My goodness. Really appreciate that, Tyler. How have you been? I'll give you a look at one of these two. What have you been up to? Playing some Deep Rock Galactic, heck yeah. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, <laughs> it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear ooh, gas ooh. grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. I really it's want the that. It's latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. <laughs> We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. Of course. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Or well, one really big one. <laughs> you mean? White collar crime drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. Oh, that's not what blammo. I thought you were gonna say, but that's good too. Right in that pocketbook. Nothing for us right now. <laughs> it's just like the heck. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pine sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man <laughs> before he kills us all. Not the tear gas. Oh, yeah, the tear gas. The heck? This man be zooming. Hey there, Mr. Wizzer. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizzer. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizzer. <laughs> what exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Uh, fitness regimen for your eyes while you're on the go? What the heck? Who exactly is this but, Brady right, Culture fellow supposed to be? I do appreciate it. And what it. kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady you Culture is a genius, beans, and right? his Ibo program Absolute is a boon beans. to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a... Oops. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercise. Oh no. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even and see through walls and Pretend clothing. to talk when you're not. I don't wear clothing. You gotta <laughs> watch this tape. It changed my life. Oh, no. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment. And ocular fitness. Hmm. <laughs> the heck. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's okay. nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. I don't know if I want to. Hmm. That's a lot of nuts! That's a lot of nuts. My goodness.
Whoa, man. Calm down. You're going a little bit fast. My good sir. Look, Sam, it's another one of the soda poppers. Wow, what are the odds? Say there, soda man. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! <laughs> Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. <laughs> How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady <laughs> Culture. Egg. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. I already Sounds talked to them about that, so about that. That. I probably don't. You can need to never be. get enough of Brady Culture's Beep eye. Boop, mother. Oh no. My my child, no. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I it only paint so Brady Culture. Heck. Whee! <laughs> Heck. Just throws him into the sky. Which dish, please? I was wondering why the game lag. <laughs> Just like, yeet. <laughs> Oh, heck. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! The heck? <laughs> Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, that's me! Literally says Peepers on gun? his shirt. Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing hopefully. with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. <laughs> Obviously. I love this game. Sybil Pandemic, Sybil Pandemic, yep. <laughs> Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became have... a licensed psychotherapist? Boops. Hey, so Nick, hello. How are you doing, Boopy Bean? But we see your driver's license or some sort of ID. Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could <laughs> draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure. <laughs> the heck? Hugs. Oh heck, Madman. Hello. Boop. Thank God. Sorry, I don't think I've I said hello. I've been locked in that closet so long. I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. <laughs> I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! <laughs> What's, the charge? What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my right. favorites! And what about mopery? He locked <laughs> me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. Oh. Maybe repressed feelings of inadequate like transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although, actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Hmm. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. 
Yep, that's what I said. Katsooks. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. <laughs> take your eyes. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate <laughs> on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! <laughs> Just walks behind her desk and does fart noises. What the heck? Grabs a knife, takes the eye. Oh no. Uh, good thing I have my handy big gun. Perfect. Oh no. Where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Just comes naturally. Game's making you feel better already? Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. I'm- whoops. Sorry about that. I'm glad. Tried to pull my blanket up on me and I kind of slammed my mic there. Sorry. My Apple Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! <laughs> relax. Hell no. How dare you relax? The By heck? the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I oh, don't no. think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already <laughs> planning on it, <laughs> What the heck? Police! Uh, just hey, you front ended us. You front ended Take us. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. <laughs> Over or die. The heck. Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being. Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it ten thousand dollars? What? The Are heck? you crazy? Oh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <laughs> uh, my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> Gives them a thousand or ten thousand dollars. That's police work right there. <laughs> Truly, the only way it can be done properly, honestly. Is that a... Is that a gumball dispenser full of beans? Shifu. Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? That tear gas. We got your tear gas money right here. Really? All right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. 
Hell yeah. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, by the way, did I mention my automated shooter. defense system? No. What's it do? <laughs> Actually, just the knocks ten thousand just cover the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. <laughs> what the heck? Ooh, jeez. Hey, Bosco. What do you need? See you later, Bosco. Remember, okay. we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. <laughs> Organ Trader Magazine? Hot Funny? Oh, Self loathing? You love to hate. Hey, Bosco. Bye, Bosco. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Buy one, get one. Now, is that a buy one, get one can, or is it like a buy one and I actually get another one? Hmm. Bad news, worse news? The heck? It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. <laughs> it says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. Just buy one, get that one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just eatily deep. No, come back. <laughs> I love this. This is already lots of fun, and I'm pretty sure we haven't even gotten a thrill. <laughs> Like, I have this game, which is five, six parts, and then I have the second game. Which is probably going to be another six parts, so... Hey, Sybil. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys going to take care of this imposter, or what? I think so. I think there may be other victims of hypnosis besides yours lurking around the neighborhood. Well, Just casually so throws them. them unconscious as well. Oh, boy! More gratuitous violence! Hell yeah. What happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided to hang it up after that. <laughs> I think I know exactly what happened. That's great. Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. <laughs> he wanted me to put a ship on his chest. It's good. Hey, peepers. Sybil! Right. Oh, no, that stare. <laughs> you sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood <laughs> pressure and heart rate yet. of a hummingbird. Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. <laughs> Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Ah, uh, good old tear gas. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. No! <laughs> <laughs> but it will make you Shoots cry. him in the face with an onion. <laughs> Hey, uh, Sybil. Wait. Excuse me for a No, minute, I didn't mean you? to do that. Sure. I meant to punch. <laughs> no. I mean, honestly, now we just get to shoot him again, so. 
Oh, shit. It's a win win. <laughs> Gotta make sure he gets one for each hey, eye, you know? Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps! I can see you! <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha! <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. <laughs> Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream! And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes! Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff! Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy! Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> exorcism? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Hades. <laughs> Was this hurting your head? can of spray paint and it's not even empty heck yeah so okay he's painting I've seen a bunch of these everywhere right. they say graffiti is the poetry of our time just what we need more lame poetry if I do this a little improvement Did she the window sound you effect? Messed it up. Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is this is kinda. Hmm. Hmm. That windows effect though. Which one? The shutting down some one? Perfect. Oh, put the put yeah, put it. Put it here. That's the way. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. <laughs> you made me mess up. <laughs> <What the heck? laughs> And now this is quality television. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who oh, no. dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Well, we've admired our handiwork. Shut down call enough. notification Maybe just one and more celebration second. ones. Okay, let's go. I, I could maybe look into that. 
There's a few sound alerts that I now haven't really been used for a while, so I could maybe swap the mood a little. Have a look. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! <laughs> What's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Stop the ironing. Just one second, pouring myself another drink. So what do you beans think about this game so far? I think it's a lot of fun, honestly, myself. Okay. You know what? Hello. Let's have a... Let's buy some cheese. Hey, Bosco, I think I got an idea for that. Do I... Wait. Do Thanks, I, Bosco. Sleep with two eyes open. Can I just take the cheese? Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Dangerously low. We lost all of our normal cheese. It's all Swiss now. Hmm. I think I got an idea. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. Trying to find it. Be on Discord. I'll do it. Uh -oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Hope <laughs> he enjoyed it as much as I did. The heck. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Time out for number one. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining <laughs> either way. <laughs> oh, he wet. Wait a second. <laughs> His widow pants. My evil oh, plan heck. is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Oh, where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh, no! The heck? He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Hurry, Sam. He's getting away! Wee woo, wee woo! Stop, police! Watch out! Stop! We just oh. want to talk! Really? We just want to talk? Really? Oh, oh hey, Kim. Stop throwing soda pops at me! I have hydration already, please! Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure! Police, freeze! Got him. Yes! <laughs> Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. 
sport just, value. You always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never more dream soda. of hurting more. former child stars. <laughs> we just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right he over ran there. Off? Across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. <laughs> um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> now treating artificial personality disorder. <laughs> Vehicles will be stolen. Just use the floor. I mean, he already did, honestly. Not much of a secret, is it? The mole man poster? Admission forms. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. A discord Sounds tasty. ID? What's in it? Uh, Apparently it's common in former child stars. Okay. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Forsooth. You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Let me send you this one here. Pretty sure that's the bean right there. That's the bean. That's the bean. There you go. Monkey. <laughs> Disturbing little you monkey. Know, monkey. The heck. Uh, game settings, maybe? Nope. I wonder if it's the V-Sync that's doing it. This thing gives me the willies. Monkey. M -m -m Monkey. Mole oh, man. Looks like a sh. Don't they all? <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? Precious time driving around aimlessly. Back to the office. We could talk to her about the finger dinger, right? Are you Bjorn? I'm doing all right, Tyler. Thanks. How about yourself? Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm. Interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent Heck. reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Hey, I know. I could psychoanalyze you. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple <laughs> things we, we can try. Right. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. Yeah, sure I could interpret your dreams for you. I'm good. Got the day off. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Got any plans since you're off then? Just relaxing at home or what have you? How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this <laughs> and tell me what you see. Um. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> um, I guess Penny's on the eyes of a dead mind. Interesting. Just relax yeah, at home. Heck one? yeah. 
I hope you have a good relaxing time then. Oh. Um. Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater? I don't think so. I mean. Crashing into an opulent mansion? Uh. I guess I would have all an SUV that. crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? Um. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh. Honestly. My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? <laughs> Terrible. Elephants at the stock exchange? Yes. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? Blotchy thing a flashbulb <laughs> does to your eyes. Kind of looks like Freddy Fazbear. Check shapes. I think uh, what I want to be doing is making it seem like I have the the symptoms. So I think it's got to be this one, but I like all of these other answers. <laughs> a debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with money. That's a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. Oh, Hag. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> tomato. Oh. Oh, my phone service provider is actually the worst today. <laughs> the heck. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we Raccoon will. Raccoon Outlaw, heck, hello, welcome. How are you doing? Ready? Always love the Sam and Max games. Yeah, no, the they're pretty dang good. Tumbleweed. I like the heckin' the comedy and the the games and the shows and stuff. It's really good. Tumbleweed? I mean, this kind of looks tumbleweedy. Ah, the tiki. Pulled over from the How days you when doing, you could Raccoon sell all Outlaw? kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Leave for Dallas on Tuesday? Nice. Oh, crumpets. Uh... Just because I don't know what I to feel do. strangely like punching something. Really? Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Comb. Uh. Cactus? Word to the wise. Never put your tongue on a cactus. <laughs> or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him oh, at the podiatrists. Doesn't it everybody could be though? Honestly? Symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. On my chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. <laughs> Can I have your hat? the heck 
in Hades, you said you sent um, a thingy to my Discord. I gave it a little look, Lou, and I don't see anything. But I heard UM instead of OME. <laughs> the Remastered Season 1 and 2 going to be Great Wall Season 3 Crazy Hard. Oh heck. I have 1 and 2 for sure. I haven't got uh, 3 yet, but I'm definitely looking into getting it for sure. Seems pretty dang good. Oh, I got you. I got what you're saying. <laughs> Hades. Heck. <laughs> Can I really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical so dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Yowch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Um, there was a shadow person in my office. Oh no, the heck? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was? Don't have it? you added? Ah, okay. Um, it was you. Me? You do. Whoops. Of course. The feelings uh, of trust, of safety. Besides, represents his mother, I think, was what I remember. Psychotherapy 101. Hearing. Insightful. Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. You uh -oh. ungrateful pup. I went through three weeks of labor for you. Wow, it is your mother. I was right, as I usually am. My clicky fingers sometimes skip through things by accident. My apologies. Dog in a box. Hmm. I remember, I remember that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there oh, yeah, were like having a little celebration. Month old donuts. What did you get? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Wait a second. Wedding cake? Your mother? You subconsciously want to marry your own mother! Well, this is a blow. This is a definite <laughs> is symptom a blow. of artificial personality disorder. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Your partner. Wow! <laughs> it must be artificial personality disorder. You've got Wait, all is the there signs. a multiplayer version of this? Disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars then. I've signed this admission. I mean, I wouldn't mind a But you have to arrange your own transportation. <laughs> As well, after. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Or do you want to be you're my crazy, Sam? And can I drive? Partner. Jumping vehicular homicide. Don't be no. my Nick or my Sam. I'll be Paul. Do you need a partner, man? Oh, my goodness. The prompt is <laughs> the point. <laughs> Heck. I love this. Are they hiring? Did we get our own squad car? Raccoon? Where are we going, Sam? Do they give us one of these? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Monkey. I thought they were, and I, I hope so. Oh, heck yeah. 
I want a nice fancy car like that. Can we shoot at people's tires and um, tail lights and charge them like 10 grand for it? True police work, right? There. Monkey, 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 monkey. <laughs> What a way to greet people. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream <laughs> afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million <laughs> laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jump <laughs> one Cheney and a bottle fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, <laughs> try leaving <laughs> the front <laughs> door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never <laughs> wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. Oh, no. They never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is it over? I think so. <laughs> so, Oops. since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Oh, no. Hey, that tickles! Become... Video delivery man. No. <laughs> what? What's happening? Oh no! Oh no! What are you doing? I, I don't know. I. You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney! <laughs> Mickey deliver. Rooney? Mickey Rooney? Videos. <laughs> the heck? Is there like... Too far. Hmm. So I've got to like. Oh, don't even try. There we go. I love that part. <laughs> Ooh, cheese. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial oh, no. Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become. Video delivery man. No, I don't Do want to. evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the <laughs> But that doesn't look dream. like an afro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. 
Brandy stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy. I'll save you. Um. Well, this dude's like a heckin' light bulb, so. Get wrecked, nerd. One way sign. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Ooh. Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. <laughs> he turns the world off with his smile. What the heck? Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. <laughs> Bicycle. Huh. I will. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce okay. you to a little friend of mine. I don't even know how the door opened. No, the cheese must Not stand like alone. The we no. got ghosts too. <laughs> and another one bites the cheese. Wait, is this the Pixar lamp? What are you doing here? <laughs> the heck? I will be universally loved by everyone in the universe. What? What, what are you pointing at? What do you want? Jeez. <laughs> Brady culture has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, okay. Whoa. Cool. Gotcha. Get slapped on the floor. <laughs> Just carry you in my box. Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Ooh. Really? For me? Indeed. No! Oh, my. Oh, my. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. <laughs> the heck? Oh, uh. Oh, no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Hmm. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams. Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something quick. What about the therapist, Thanks, lady? Bosco. Do me proud. I feel like that's a good, a good guess, maybe. Works with the brain. I have an idea, hopefully. Hello! How's it going, Sybil? Doc! I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh, <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. <laughs> well, it's a gross breach of doctor patient privilege for me to even. Oh, to the even tell you about it. Patients the heck? drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. 
It... Hmm. My lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Out of all the things, I mean... Diplomas? What are these? There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Oh, my. That won't help me rescue Max. <laughs> what the heck? I want a tiger clock. It's badass. <laughs> Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Let me... Let me have a cheeky peek about something. Yeah, that's what I thought. Max Back. isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. Quick second that I saw that coat hanger, possible. I was like, hmm. Can't be Quinkle Dink that you gotta take it off in your dream and then it's on a plan. <laughs> National Terror Level. <laughs> Hey, Bosco. You okay? Yep. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, Bosco. Hi, Do Bosco. Bye, Bosco. Wait, Bosco, wait. take a gander at this. Well, what is it? A death threat? Even better. It's <laughs> instructions for the latest better. in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colander for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for <laughs> yeah, that I antenna could thing. At put the top. random junk together antenna. and make Got a it. thing. What is that? Refreshments. Small, medium, way too much. <laughs> Dear cast grenade launcher. Yeah, What's okay. Energy? Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Mm -hmm. Happy days are here again. Uh oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. My money's running You'll out. You'll have to pay for the next Man, one. Man, looks like I'm going to have to go smash my car into another rich guy's car and, like, shoot his tail lights out again. <laughs> I'm coming, Max. Good day's work. <laughs> Just extorting the public. <laughs> the heck. Rule number three. Always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Honk. <laughs> so goofy. Freeze police. Hand over the lack of on job. head. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. <laughs> Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you, and this time we're... Going are... to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! <laughs> hmm. Become Brady Culture. 
<laughs> Do my evil bidding. <laughs> Worship the videotape. What nonsense. Attack the dog. Ouch. <laughs> Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. Attack me. No, me, attack me, 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 me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oops, no, wait, I mean. Oh, oh, oh. Smart hey, move, Sam. Hey. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel. Uh, I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You <laughs> crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. Oh, no. Heck yeah. Still can't believe this is a Telltale game. It's so cool. Enough to sleep. Have a good one. Sure thing, Hades. I hope you have a fantastic sleepy. Thank you for stopping in. It was great having you here. Have sweet dreams, little thing. Well, I see you're not you're not little bin. Definitely not little bean. <laughs> Time for episode two, I suppose, now. Situation comedy. Hmm. Talk show host Mira Stump has gone berserk. Sam and Max head down to the Warp TV studio to find out why she's holding her audience captive as a hostage what but getting into myra's stage isn't going to be easy first the freelance police will have to prove they're worthy of 15 minutes of fame well then Let's see how good we can do Is it going to be kind of the same, or is this one going to be a little bit of a different intro now? Naps. 
Hey, Anebs, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, sweet bean. Thank you for the hydrate, healthy, stretchy posture bean. How you been doing, Nebs? Oh heck. You better watch out, I got a tear gas launcher. I mean he's got a Luger, but I got it! Ah, I got it! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes? Yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis uh -oh. Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. Oh, no. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly, I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away. <laughs> We're at our earliest convenience. Great. I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. <laughs> Heck. <laughs> Hell yeah. At our earliest convenience, literally just rides around town, doesn't care. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! It's the only place I got to go so far, to my knowledge, so... Warp TV. Fizzball playoff. Well, here we are. In Max. case of fire, the this TV door will be locked. <laughs> too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. And can't be switched on for an impromptu reality so show with the heck. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, Max. What is it, Sam? Any idea what cheap ripoff of an already lackluster show gets filmed on this set? Even Money says it's something tasteless or tawdry, but preferably both. <laughs> Let's boogie, little buddy. Lights, camera, double-barreled action. Oh, hell yeah. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could a fool? Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, <laughs> we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Toast? Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? <laughs> You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. <laughs> highly untrained Look, police. Hats off for dedication, guys. But I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. My goodness. Jay. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing, sweet bean? Welcome, welcome, everybody. How was your stream? What were you doing? Little bit of state of decay, too? Heck yeah. 
A lovely little game. How'd that go for you? Went all right. Nice. How, uh, how are you playing? Like, are you doing the, the crazy mode or just kind of casual stuff? Got to your VTuber model now? Oh heck yeah! That's amazing! Doing some of the DLC? I gotcha. You liking it so far? Or have you played it before and... That's awesome, though. I'm gonna have to stop by your channel for a little bit after I'm done my stream here and check out what your your model looks like. It'd definitely be exciting to get a new model egg. <laughs> We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either <laughs> and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative, and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? <laughs> the heck? Made a used car lot the base game? Or the base in the game? Heck. I haven't used the, the car lot. How is that one? I'm assuming you get a lot of room to put down, um, heck, the little, little room things. I have so many cars. Hell yeah. Do you have any sales going on? Can I buy one of those? You and Myra. Why the 50, 60 cars? Look, Holy Myra runs heck. her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less? If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, <laughs> burn! Quiet, knucklehead. <laughs> the heck. Are those 50, 60 cars actually drivable, too, in the game? Or are they, like, somewhat broken? Some of them are good. Because I could see that being pretty fantabulous. Got a Honda, Honda Accord for 50 bucks. And a McChicken. Ooh. That's a, that's a pretty dang good deal. I think I got fitty, fitty books and a, a McChonkin. All of them certified zombie mowers? Hell yeah. Okay. We're talking. That's some what are good you stuff doing right here there. Anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Yeehaw. Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranches trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Oh, Rocket heck. into fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. Isn't it? We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You <laughs> want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's horror a classic movies. boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes, boy! That is so me. And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, we're ready. <laughs> I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog. Now. Show me rabbit. Show me rabies. <laughs> no, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm. 
frothing mad. Do I have to find, like, apples? That's what will do it. How dare you, apples? Rawr! Cut! What are you doing? Sorry, I'm not hiring a dog who can't even do a simple... I don't know what went wrong. You look pretty disease-ridden to me. <laughs> I'm back after you've taken a few thousand acting lessons. The heck? Pull out the gun? Maybe. You know what? Hmm. Well, what I was thinking is, do I have to get, like, some... Some spray whip cheese... Or... <laughs> whipped cheese spray uh whipped cream from the corner store or something and like just spray it around my mouth hello again yes i'll try the gun though can we take another crack at that audition fine let's take it from the top ready sam show me rabbit i'll show you rabbit bam cut quit stalling and act rabid I don't know how I could be any more rabid. You have to be frothing at the mouth. Contract rabies if you have to, but don't come back until you can froth. Knew it. Okay. We do have to get froth. Gotta go lay down. Your back is hurty. Aw, oh, heg. Well, Jay, thank you for the raid arena. I do appreciate it. And I hope you have a good lay down and your back feels better. Heck. Night, night, sweet bean. You take care. It was lovely to have you here. <laughs> that fire exit door. Okay. Lefties? Who's lefty? Frothing at the mouth. It looks like candy. But I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. I've got worse. <laughs> pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. No sweet bean, I'm sour. Oh, heck. Have a good night, lemon bean. <laughs> What's up? Samuel, the hit. Maximilian, Game series what Five Nights at Freddy's. No. It must You're be. Probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst, it's me. Hey, Jay. I hope you have a good night. Take care. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? <laughs> I know not that Monica. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom. Ah, Earl Reginald Rumplebottom. <laughs> Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. <gasps> we want to buy something. Mm, yes, mm, quite so, quite so. What have you got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the Blooming Skin Bodies haven't gotten yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And <laughs> I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. A peculiar device, Opo? What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest <laughs> Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, <laughs> it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. I suppose that could be handy as well. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Uh, let's see, uh, 30 shillings would be about 1 million American dollars. A million I'm bucks? I'm pretty sure no that's not a we giving out good. that many tickets. I think we'll have to hmm. find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Oh, worth every shilling. Trust me, trust me. That's, no, uh, that's not the right currency exchange. Pretty sure. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffing. Tickety-boo. 
Just bring it to the counter. Nothing for us right now. How would I Indeed. make a million dollarinos? Thanks, Bosco. Pip pip, honey nut cheerio. <laughs> honey nut cheerio. Oh no. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Paws off, pig! Dog! Pig dog! The skin bodies rule the streets! <laughs> what the heck? Blast, bugger, light, bombers. The little blighted did it again. After him! I mean, tally ho! Police, freeze! Tally ho! Casually walk out. <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd that little dingus go to? Whoa! Police freeze! Nope. Why can't I? So you can't tear gas them. Hmm. What about this? Could I push this over? I said I was sorry. No. Hear me? Nope. Hmm. Takes me back to my childhood. No. Hmm. Oh. Was that a boar I saw? I feel like there is a way to stop you. I just gotta wait for the right thing to cross the screen. Place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. Exactly. <laughs> number Good three time. socket spanner. The heck? <laughs> Couldn't I just roll my Where car forward going, and like smush him? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Hey. After those rats, literally just drives over them. There they are. Let's get them. Please do those laughably small wheels move so fast. You'll never catch us. The skin body can't be stabbed. Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask. You can't dodge my shots forever. Watch it. The skin buddies can't be stopped. Hmm. Shoot them, Sam. I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Interesting. Do I have to get them to slam into something, maybe? Missed them. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. I feel like you can't oh. dodge my shots forever. Watch it. This There's that thing that pops in the middle of the road. He's not aiming very well, too, by the way. I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. That could be the other one. There's that side one here. Missed him. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Nope. Shoot him, Sam. I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. There we go. <laughs> he crashed so hard. Hey, the shaving cream! 
Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. <laughs> Mommy. Okay, that was easy. I kind of figured it would be a chase scene if it wasn't going to be a just shoot their car. <laughs> so, okay. 30 shillings. How in the heck am I supposed to get? Sam? A million trillion TV dollars. Hmm. Barrel Haven. <laughs> hmm. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Ah, good. I do need a good derriere sitter. It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Hello again. Yes? Can we take another crack at that audition? Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me rabbit. Rabbit? I got rabbit right here. Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who... Zip it. <laughs> okay, Max, just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad, you're despondent, you're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, <laughs> I said. Give me grief. Uh... I know how to do that. That's an easy one. Onion. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh oh. <gasps> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my <laughs> anti hypnosis helmet built into my hat, or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> such realism. Such authenticity. Actually I was convinced just shot you were him in the head. Shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over. You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. <laughs> All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. It didn't really look like a cowboy's home. The hemp. Weren't you just? I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys <laughs> were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My oh, uncle Ernie no. did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. 
Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. Globe theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. Better get the serious toothpaste. Um, I almost kind of feel like I need the voice modulator thing before doing this, but I'm not sure how I would get these shillings, so to speak. Can we take five? The Screen Actors Guild will break my knuckles if I say no, so go ahead. Cactus, can I find maybe some things around here? Competitive oh, horseshoe no. skipping is a thrilling test of accuracy, strategy, and strength. Even more so if the horses are still attached. Some say <laughs> that's the only way. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Hey, bossy. Bossy. Let's go. Mm. Okay. It's behind the studio door. Cooking without looking? Oh boy. What's the story with this show? Cooking without looking? It's a cooking show aimed at motorhead bachelors who have never seen the inside of a grocery store. Is there a big demand for that? You'd be amazed. <laughs> Where's the host? Is he in watching the Myra show? No, he's one of the few who isn't. He got food poisoning while he was taping last week's show. Right in the middle, in fact. Was it gruesome? Yes, and unfortunately, this show goes out live. Hmm. How do you keep it so clean in here? The complete absence of anything resembling food is helpful. <laughs> See ya. Probably. Probably. Bucket of lard. Dangerous implements. Anything in here? I think this is one of those cooler things they use on medical shows to transport donor spleens. What's it doing on the set of a cooking show? Some knowledge is better left unclaimed. <laughs> Do I have another stage door? No. It's just... Wall? Okay. A fridge isn't even a real fridge, I just noticed. <laughs> Who's never going to be a millionaire? I gotta see that one. This might be the way to get that million dollars, Look, actually. Max, there's the door to my reset. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. <laughs> Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. 
Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Because I do. <laughs> So, you Bliss, what brings you <laughs> She's to WARP? Like, what the heck? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident doubting Thomas of this crime fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. <laughs> from the last game. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well, I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Six million three hundred seventy-three thousand four hundred eleven point nine eight. Sam. Lucky guess. Was it? <laughs> Lucky Think of something guess. Something else. Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it. Wow, <laughs> you're amazing. What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the ten word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. Ten words? Oh my! How about prismatology? Is the answer unicorns are pretty and, and rainbows and too? And rainbows too! That's ten. Heck. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, mauve. Uh, burnt sienna. Uh, <laughs> how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Red, green, or blue? Do blue, Hugh. Oh. oh. I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? The heck? <laughs> I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. <sighs> ah. Interesting. He's not even wearing shoes, I just realized. Say, you Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered puppies. puppies. So where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh my, I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> hmm, check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> oh no. Just get a Sorry picture of him with every... Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah, anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. Just read the cards. I still love you. <sighs> <laughs> Okay.
Hmm. So I gotta get the answers for this right then, I'm guessing. But it's gonna be We've got ridiculous questions. Hit it! Oh my. From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome <laughs> Sam and Max. Listen, Sam, they love us. Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire. One question? Start loading the armored cars, Hugh. Because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true! Okay, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one! If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling... At thrice the speed of Rigel flight. Two at the same time going half the speed how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born uh. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna go with my gut and say Hugh Bliss I'm flattered but no that is completely wrong you lose this is an outrage. I demand a recount. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay. <laughs> Find out which poor schmuck uh -huh. will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. It's me again. <laughs> Interesting. We've got another contestant. Hit it! Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. <laughs> these okay, guys again. are you ready? Here's the question. Is it the what same one? What is the one? mass of a solid dodecahedron composed of unrefined nickel three decameters to the side rounded to the nearest milligram? Uh, 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 I'd have to guess Patty Duke's evil twin cousin. Oh, so close, but no, you lose. We'll be right back after these messages. The hemp. Wait a minute. Can I? He, he's just reading off the cards, right? Hem, 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 hem. Apparently, WARP can't afford armed guards for their game show questions. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get your pretty long ears in a twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. In life, there are no answers. Only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that in a cereal box. <laughs> I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're seriously deficient, all right. <laughs> You're seriously deficient, all right. <laughs> Fred and Barley's... A Barney's? Alien friend on the Flintstones. Oh no, I don't remember that. Oh man, I, I used to know that. Nah. Nope. What do you mean? Nope. I can't see how anybody would ever be able to answer any of these questions. Hmm. Oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, no, no. No gifts. All I need is love. Sweetie love. Okay. I don't suppose you would tell me. 
I don't want her to know I have these. Hmm. Redmond's Barney. What? I don't think Bosco would know, would he? sing and oh, be a heck. judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I <laughs> me. promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! <laughs> I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly like the How you hit that high note and you're always impressed. me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this <laughs> is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Hmm. What did you just put over here? Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Hmm. Hem, 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 hem. Okay. I think I got an idea here. It's the... Oh, whoops. Wrong door. I'm dumb. Literally the one. <laughs> I can has the thing written over it. Okay. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Hey, well, a perfect fit. I didn't see him be able to fly per se, but Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Definitely. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, saw pick a color. Him Any turn color. into a rainbow. Do blue, Hugh. Easy win. Get another contestant. Hit it. Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. <laughs> Scattered applause. Hmm. The question is, am I blue? Yes. Yes, you. Yes, you are. Well, what do you know? That's absolutely right. Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. 
heck? I don't believe it. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. One, two, three, 174, 175, <laughs> 999,999. And a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. Oh, whoa. <laughs> quite the bulge in your pocket there. Acid pit. Sir. What are old beans? Old beans? What the heck? I'm not a gray muzzle. We want to buy something. Quite so. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps? Well, I suppose I must accept them. Boulder Dash government conspiracy. <laughs> it's Hogwash. Complete card swallow. Here then is your chemical based voice modulator. <laughs> this is an a inhaler with a curly straw in the bowl. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Holy chipmunk. Ari is warbling out of a souped up 78 speed turntable. It works. Thanks, Bosco. <laughs> I think I would need anything else. Or even rather if I can pick up anything else. Okay. Yeah, no. I think we can go back to the movie set. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! So at a game show, we got a... Hmm. Hmm, him, him. What's in my... What's in the box here? I guess we whoop. <laughs> I guess we just try the scene. See what happens. And it was something about toothpaste, I remember that. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Is it taping or is it live? Okay, now remember. Your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably hide in a cow. 
They're probably hiding Hold again. Up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. Am I though? Or just give my cow some helium? <laughs> if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow! Cut! Amateurs! <laughs> it's just a chicken, Let's man. Let's get the set back the way it was. Hell yeah. Okay, so I need something to... put on lay cow. Hmm. Ah, nature. Hmm. Can I put the lampshade on the cow? I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. Okay, maybe take the lampshade, put it on the cow. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! <laughs> Probably a cow. <laughs> Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. Let there be light. Oh. Ding. Hey, there Perfect. We go. Life of the party. No one will know. You've got a, a well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Abraham Lincoln. Our chef, of course. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la lunch. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army day. <laughs> the heck? Uh, well, I'm not the one that says that. That's him. Have you heard the one about the three firemen and the football? Oh, please. This isn't that sort of a show. Save it for Myra. Cut! <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Hmm. Okay. Might be... missing something else, then. This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> okay, so... Just because it's been a while, let me just There's double a lot check. To learn with this TV business. Give me the lowdown on the show one more time. Midtown Cowboys is about two cattle ranchers raising a mm -hmm. herd in a Manhattan apartment that has a strict no-cows policy. Your basic visual hijinks and occasional gross-out humor ensue as they concoct elaborate ruses to keep their cow hidden from their landlord, Mr. Featherly. Let's take five. Sure. Wagon wheel lamp. French bread and French fries. Makes me think maybe we need to do the cooking thing first. Okay. This fridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. Yeah, it is. That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic <laughs> waste dump in the state.
Can we get a tape of the show? This one? No. It's broadcast live. We don't tape it. Okay. Aren't there fruits or vegetables of any sort around here? Just the crew. <laughs> I never get tired of that one. Okay, actually, no. We strive for realism, and the average bachelor kitchen doesn't contain any natural plant life except mold. <laughs> oh, no. See ya. Probably. But I need a um, potato. Hmm. Or bread? <laughs> Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. Uranium the show where pellets. we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. These guys. Just go with it. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious <laughs> cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Um... What the heck? I don't think I'm gonna be able to make any of these. A bunch None? of gunk in a dish. Mm. We'll just get some ingredients from the ingredient rack and add it to what we professionals call the yummying hod. Isn't that a pot? Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummying hod. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> Roofing tile shards? Red dye too. Monk paste. <laughs> Asbestos sprinkles. Lard MSG. <laughs> Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. The heck. Every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. <laughs> you're just about there. The heck? Handful or two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. <laughs> now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time. Ta-da! You've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. Oh, boy. Let's take it with us. <laughs> the heck? It's a casserole. Interesting. Wait. I shouldn't what's... fool with the set while we're not taping the show. Okay. And what's... That's just nothing right now. Okay, so lampshade on the cow. And then what? We maybe... Put like a casserole on the table? Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some gross-out humor this time. Ready? Action! Gross-out humor this time. Open up in there! I know you're fighting a Let cow. there be light. There we go. Life of the party. I think I have an idea. Aha! I know you've got a... a well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? 
This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la lunch. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army day. No thanks. Hmm. Can sure. I interest you in something but to not eat? If you, cowboy. I'm pretty sure cows only eat grass and television scripts. Sure, but not if you guys made it. Can mm -hmm. I interest you in something to eat? Sure. But... Interesting. One, two, three. Okay. Can I interest you in something to no. eat? Sure, hmm. but not if you cowboys made it. Ooh. I've got standards, you know. Okay, I think I know. If he comes and stands back here. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. No dice. No can do. Okay, so I do have to use it on Sam. I'm so human. Hey, Bossy. Bossy! That's a funny name. Hmm. Goodness, who left this lying here? Oh. Oh, I see. Doesn't want to touch it with his bare hands, so put it on a plate. Oh no. Say, what's this? Sorry, what was that you said? Uh... He said moo goo gai pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? Oh no. I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm. <laughs> There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. <laughs> no. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Thomas, What's hello. it called in English? How are you going? Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like... <laughs> Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. <laughs> nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's VHS get the tape. set back the way it was. This is... Wow. Even for Sam and Max. <laughs> Love it, right? the heck hello again how you doing thomas Hi. game show door 
I guess we could just go back to the... Oh, wait. My show is through that one other door, right? I don't think we need to do anything with the singing. Pretty sure that was just to get the cards. So we go through here. Through the other door. I am dumb. <laughs> Toilet humor, what the heck? <laughs> it's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. <clears throat> um. Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Hmm. Can't... may we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself! Are you famous? <laughs> Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not good enough. I'll need <laughs> evidence of your explosive petition. star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording, contract, and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course. What kind of show do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? Hmm... As it happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Well, I'm certainly impressed with how far standards for entertainment have fallen in this country. Um, thanks? But you're also going to need a recording contract and a nice juicy scandal to be a guest on my show. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? <laughs> a scandal, you say? And a recording contract? <laughs> hmm. See you later. That's a wrap. How do you get a recording contract? She said something about needing to sing. can you tell me about the show you're shooting here? Embarrassing Idol, Standard Drill, amateur singers with delusions of ability perform in front of a camera. Judges heckle them, and the public gets sick pleasure out of watching the carnage. Hmm. Can I be a contestant? I often sing in the shower, and hardly anyone complains. Sure, we're pretty desperate for contestants at the moment. We had more, but they went in to watch the Myra show, and we never saw them again. Highly suspicious. What allegedly valuable prize is bestowed on the lucky winner? The winner gets a standard exploitation recording contract with a major label. Oh, if you're heck going yeah. to be exploited, be exploited by the best. That seems clear. Thank goodness. 
Well, I'm sure you're very busy. You got that right. I think I know what to do. Really hope I don't fall in the acid pit, though. <laughs> Love Max, he's one of my favorite characters. One, two, yeah. I like the whole series in general. It's a lot of fun, but for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. Oh, Heg. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. Bottleneck on the freeway of doom. Heck, uh, I like this. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <clears throat> Chomping on a crunchy silver spoon. Oh, heck. broke his glasses she's the headline page one the tribune oh I ran out of air hmm Like I think I already got it all wrong, so. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. <laughs> you really nailed that high note. Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! <laughs> the heck? You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peepers is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, okay, the so that's of the judges two. must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. Hmm. But Peepers is your brother, so you have to... Is there anything I can say that would coax him? Testing, one, two, three. Oh. Testing, one, I said two, three. Microphone, but okay. That Ladies works. and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. <laughs> Cravings for undeserved fame and fortune. Oh, that that title though. Craving for undeserved fame and fortune. <clears throat> Chomping on a crunchy silver. Playing cocktail angst on my bassoon. Last one, so he's a TikToker. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Blowing like a zephyr on a dew. And let's hear from our judges. I admire your courage even more than your singing. You've still got my vote. Thanks, little buddy. You really nailed that high note. Whoa. And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! I really think you could do this professionally. Thanks. But Peepers is my brother. There's no way I'm voting for anyone else. Okay, I can see that. Remember, mm. folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. 
Interesting. So his only thing is because... Well, well, peepers, you underdeveloped brother. former non-psychotherapist, you. What a treat to run across you again. I'm not sure if I ever properly thanked you for hitting me over the head recently. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> no gratitude necessary. Just doing our jobs. Sure. Your lyrics have an intriguingly vapid quality. Did you write them yourself? Of course! Any similarity to lyrics from other wildly popular songs is meant as homage, not theft. How do you manage to hit those eardrum-scarring high notes? <laughs> if you're implying that I use any artificial vocal enhancements, I don't! What you hear is pure peepers! That's almost exactly what I would have said. <laughs> hmm. I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing over here. Good luck. <laughs> I was here when I got Did here I last week. Tell me, old judge, what gruesome qualities do you look for in a singing performance? Fraternity! I'm Throw voting peepers for peepers in the acid no pit. What. No He's more brother. brother. Judge would be on your side, easy my fix. Birthday today, I might add. I said I was sorry. Happy birthday. Thanks. I'm glad somebody remembered. I said I was sorry. What more do you want? A treat would be nice. Isn't this also St. Boniface Day? Patron saint of carnivorous plants and spiky things? I think that's next week. <laughs> Enjoy okay. your judging. Catch you later. So, uh -huh. I'm wondering if that's it, because I mentioned his, his birth day. Maybe now he'll be like, oh, hey. You're pretty, pretty rad. With the pool of water. It's acid, brain freeze. Don't you ever watch the show? Well, peepers, sorry. Time to get in the acid. Hey, peepers. What do you want? I'm dying to know. Is there any truth to the rumors about lip syncing on the old soda poppers TV show? We only did that on the released version. I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing over here. Good luck. He wants a, he wants a treat too. That was the other thing. That's quite the little science experiment. Do I have? Uh, I mean, I mean. I mean. Win him like over with a casserole? I'm kind of saving room, thanks. No. Can I make a birthday cake in the cooking kitchen? Oh no, I would actually make a cake without the proper things, but let's see if it'll let us. Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot. Flavoring pail. Let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. 
<laughs> Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. Trying to think of what kind of things are cake like. Asbestos sprinkles? This of course. Stuff isn't Who just for school the asbestos? <laughs> it's not Make just sure for school lunches. Red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. Sprinkles lard. Would I need anything else? Roofing shards, MSG. Let's see if We've that does We've already got that thing we made before. No, I ate it while you were looking at the ingredients. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking showtime, one <gasps> gorgeous We do actually cake. have a cake. Hell Ready yeah. To be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Perfect. I like how I put red dye too and it came out green. I heard it was somebody's birthday. Da -da 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 -da. It's your birthday. Oh, about some cake. Cake? Oh boy! Perfect for my birthday. There's no tomatoes in it, right? No, nope. just asbestos. Excuse me. Uh, that was delicious. And a little bit scary. You eat <laughs> like Max. A little bit scary. Okay, I think we we got this in the bag now. Testing. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. It's Hello. me again. I'd like to do a little song I call. The agony of having everything you want or need. The agony of having everything you want or need. <clears throat> Chomping on a crunchy silver spoon. Keep breaking his glasses every time. Playing cocktail angst on my bassoon. Blowing like a zephyr on a dew. And let's hear from our judges. Your moribund crooning is far less offensive than Peeper's excruciating slaughterhouse squalor. Um, thanks. You really nailed that high note. Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! That was amazing. But as long as I'm a judge, Peepers is getting my vote. I gave you but a cake. What the remember heck? Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges. I must gave you be a happy unanimous. birthday. Stay tuned for more what exciting do you mean? action after this. Actually, have to throw that man in the acid pit now. <laughs> well, I'm not really sure. Just needed to feel better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, how am I supposed to like? Hmm. As long as I'm a judge, he says. What if we somehow get you to not be a judge, though? Happy birthday. Thanks again. What kind of perks go with this gig? Do you get fancy dressing rooms and candy sorted by color? Ooh, craft services food. Have them bring me a roasted Canada goose stuffed with lightly bruised olives, please. 
Not Tightly likely. Bruised. I ordered a cake for my birthday, but they never brought it. I, I gave you a cake. I think the services crew all went in to watch the Myra show, like everybody else. All we got was a basket of tomatoes. Ugh. What kind of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? I like them just fine, but they don't like me. What do you mean? I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato on the plate. Say no more. Mm. Can you eat those little cherry tomatoes? They're small. No! No tomatoes, tomato juice, tomato paste, nothing, or I'll be out of commission for hours. Good to know, good to know. Enjoy your judging. Catch Sounds you like I need to make uh -huh. a cake with tomatoes in it. Does Bosco's have tomato stuff? Because she said they don't keep any kind of tomato y things. Hem, 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 hem. It's either that or I have to go find that basket of tomatoes somewhere. It's Sam and Max. I saw you on the deck. How do you watch TV from in there? Oh, I've got monitors you don't even know about. Uh oh. That's concerning. <laughs> Condiments? This has ketchup. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Love purple stuff. Ketchup? Mu As vaguely referred Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to make a cake and then come here and put ketchup on it? I wonder. Fine cuisine. Yep. Okay, let's quickly go make a cake. Yo. As easy as it is to Where make a cake, it only takes like two seconds. The TV studio. Goody! If it's not the ketchup... The only other thing I can think of is... to find those... tomatoes in a basket somewhere. Got any tomatoes over here? Apples? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and st <laughs> Thank you, and welcome to the show. We'll what are we be baking a cake time, again. Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the- Cheating to you. Of course, who could forget the asbestos sprinkles? This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it too. <laughs> Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. <laughs> Don't Freak. skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Yeah, right we do. You are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And just like the magic last of time. TV cooking show time. One gorgeous, delicious cake, ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us! Okay. I really hope I can just use the ketchup in the corner store. Whee! That makes the most 
Ugh, that makes the most sense to me. My other assumption is we'll be down like another so we'll be down a judge. I'm assuming they're going to tell peepers he's got to be the other judge. And then I'm the only contestant. That's the Hello. only thing I can think of. Just offhand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Little ketchup, always good on a cake. It's just icing. Sam? The TV studio. Goody! All of these point and click games, because you can basically just keep trying until you actually get it. Happy birthday! Everyone has short-term memory loss. Cake! That red frosting looks tasty. It's that red number two. Excuse me. Oh, Excuse that was me. really. Oh, uh, uh, really. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Time out for number two. What? What the darn it? He better not be going to see Myra. Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. <laughs> oh, for me! Now it doesn't matter what I do. I'm assured to win. Testing. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. Just like someone else's song, Just but like somehow someone better. else's song, only Just like that other better. song they sung. <clears throat> Jumping on a crunchy set. Playing cocktail angst on my pursuit. Blowing like a zephyr. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! That's a win for me. All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner! No! Congratulations, <laughs> No! Sam. Here's your recording contract. In bottom records, it's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? The heck? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. Okay, so there's my recording contract. And then she said I need a scandal? Oh boy. A scandal. Is the therapist lady still around? For this one? Alien love triangle? Oh no. 
What the heck? Sam! Max! How nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Whoa. What? It's my new career! I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. Hmm. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican Spokesperson. Vatican Spokesperson? What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. <laughs> Me too, and I like it. <laughs> I like it. Okay. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. This These appears to be some sort of reproductive device. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. Reproductive device? Is this the kind with aloe in the sheets for extra softness? Chloroform, actually. Some of my therapy patients used to get a little rowdy. <laughs> Chloroform? Nothing useful in here. All right. Tabloid clippings. What does she have over here? She's got a story here about two hygienists from Walla Walla and an amorphous Saturnian slime mold. Is that the one where they walk into a bar at the beginning? Laundromat. But you're close. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just thought, okay, wait, I gotta go back in. She's got little, little alien antennae dangler things on that box up here. Ah, taxidermy. The dead aren't truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Is there a way to get this big gun? No. Okay. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Easy. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. So I love how I just happened to have exactly. a photo of him and I he was green. For better. That was perfect. Now I can print the paper. <laughs> Available at newsstands now. Pog. In Whee! newsstands, you say. Whee! Okay. <laughs> there we go. Got this in the bag now. We're famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin? Begin. Where are we going, Sam? We have everything we need. Goody! Now we can deal with the hostage situation. <laughs> Who 
who's never going to be a millionaire. Me! <laughs> Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. One whole commercial break? Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show. Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, got it. a clip from your TV show, yep. and some evidence of a juicy scandal. Mm -hmm. What if we have our own video game? Video games? Ugh, those things will ruin your eyes. They're awful. We do have a recording contract. In Bottom Records. Take a look. You should have us on as guests. I like my guests to be celebrities audiences are talking about. Have you been embroiled in any juicy scandals lately? Our as landlady thinks fact. I'm the one who broke the dryer in the basement. Come back <laughs> when the media is talking about you. And don't forget to wash behind your ears first. The heck? Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? You'll have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only so I can talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Yay! <laughs> Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree and, and answer every question. I have, and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about while you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking and you treat the audience with the utmost respect. Even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Gosh, Max. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. <laughs> Everyone, Bessie Bobine reading from her new book, The Heart Has Four Stomachs, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood, out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. All him. Hold the hayride, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down <laughs> like ducks in a gutter. Hold it! My guests sit at that end! But that bear has got you. Sit! We'll just sit where you want us to, man. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. Hmm. We're gonna have to play along. Sam and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. Okay. My <laughs> pissing idle glory. Sure. There's something you should know about that picture in the Times. I'm not sure I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. But the photo is not quite what it seems. How so? It's Hugh Bliss. It's not a picture of an alien at all. That's Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss, the highly respected founder of Prismatology? Don't be ridiculous. Why, I've had him on my show before, and he certainly isn't green. What are you really hiding? <gasps> How much I'm scared of being buffeted by another gust of Hurricane Myra? Flattery <laughs> will get you nowhere, mister. I don't know about you, audience, but as a girl, I was taught that flattery was the worst possible way to blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak, blah, 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 put that away right now. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yakety,
Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Yak, 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 yak. <clears throat> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. <laughs> Talk about me, myself. About my pal Sam. Hmm. I'd like to mention my pal Sam and something that happened the other day. Anecdotes about other celebrities, even ones as dubious as you two, are always welcome. Well, I was battering this purse snatcher with a broken parking meter and screaming, Die! Why won't you die? And Sam said, <laughs> You crack me up, little buddy. The point being? I crack Sam up. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? There's okay. more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? Hmm. It this? doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. How shocking. Who? Hello, <laughs> Penny. One of the soda poppers. Hmm. Both are One tempting. of the soda poppers. Oh my! Which one? Oh boy. Specs. Oh my goodness. Well, audience, we just happen to have him backstage. Specs. Come on out here! What are they b***ing about? The b***ing thing and I b***ing them <laughs> instead of my brother. And to be honest, I regret it. You mean you wish you'd b***ing your own brother? Yes, I do. <laughs> At least he doesn't. I am appalled. What kind of... Why, I... In all my years, I never blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 one of his brothers blah 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 ah yes where were we i think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair okay, of yours so it seems like it's definitely there's more there's you should someone know about else. that picture in the times what's that there are still others involved <gasps> Incredible. Who? Bessie the Cow. Bessie Bovine, our co star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh, my. Audience, shall we bring her back out again? Well, I Bessie, had to. <laughs> what do you say to these allegations? <laughs> So, Bessie, shockingly, you're the only voice of common sense in Hollywood. You are to be commended. Why don't you relax with some sweet... <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the heck? Ah, yes. There. What's that? It doesn't... Okay. You're joking. One of the... <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. my. Wizard. He's going to be well, in the bathroom that's still, I think, right? an interesting accusation. We have... I have no... What they... <laughs> All that happened was they gave me a ketchup cake. Oh, my... I have no idea what that even means. And it may be the single filthiest thing anyone said in my presence. <laughs> I might be able to top it if you cake. give me a chance. I prefer that you didn't. In fact, our country's shocking fascination with the double entendre is wrecking blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakity, 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 yak, blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Ah, yes. But she kind of said she's 
There's more you pointing us about down that. a specific road. So we have to talk about this. And there are still it's one of the involved. brothers, so then How it's got to be one of the soda pop. Oh my! It's got to be peepers, right? Really? Well, by amazing coincidence. It's not true. Well, all that happened was they snatched my lyrics. I can't even imagine what horrifying act that slang for. Blah, hmm. blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 And there's no way to, like, leave or anything, right? No. Blah, 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 yak, 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 Got a second, little buddy. Now that we're big stars, I'd normally ask that your people call my people to set up a meeting. But since we're old friends... Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak, blah, 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 blah. According to the ultra-strict rules of talk show reality, we're stuck sitting over here, possibly permanently. At least it's comfortable. True, but we can't do much from here. Celebrities don't always have to do things for themselves. They perform and have people do everything else for them. The real threat here isn't Myra at all. It's that bear. I know. Nothing that cute should be allowed to exist. It has my range, some sort of hypnotic thrall. You made that word up. Possibly, but that doesn't make it less true. Never mind. Then I shall return to the warm womb of manufactured celebrity. Blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 yakety 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 yak. May I have a drink of water? Are you the host of this talk show? No. Maybe. Then no. Blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 yakety yakety. <clears throat> ah yes. There's more you should. What's that? It doesn't tell the whole story. What about In the chimkin? Philo Pennyworth. As I'm sure most of you know, Philo Pennyworth is the actor who plays Mr. Featherly. Philo, give us your side. Is it true? Myra, please, of course not. I'm a veteran of the British stage. I'd never be caught cavorting with a dog, a rabbit, and an alien. It's so 1997. Yikes! <laughs> I doubt we'll hear a more terrifying denial. This year, anyone who is anyone is all about birds of prey, ring-tailed lemurs, and Bigfoot. No one will ever take you seriously at the Globe Theatre otherwise. And there you have it. I'm so shocked, I'm going to talk for at least the next five minutes about blah blah. <laughs> blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 yakety 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 yak blah 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 okay so all uh, of yes. the it's someone else options are done I'd rather can talk i talk about, about, about smash this sitcom instead. midtown Maybe. cowboys okay let's talk you two have become the new breakout stars of a flaccid dissolute sitcom in its final days how wonderful for you thanks we brought a clip you certainly did I had a chance to watch it, and I refused to show it to my audience. <laughs> nice. It has a shocking joke involving a cow pie. It's a sad cow pie. In today's culture, when Once a cow a staple pie. of the American diet, blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. I see why Myra only lets big stars on her show. They're easier targets? If you're big enough, there still might be something left when she's finished. Blah, 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 hmm. blah, yak, yak. <clears throat> okay. Ah, yes. Yeah. I'd like to sing a song from my upcoming album, Feathers and Furious Scribbling. I'm almost certain the audience might probably enjoy that. Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. She's at brunch today with some baboon. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. Thank you, Sam, for putting the numb back in musical number. <laughs> what a wonderful way to remind our audience that you don't have to be talented to be famous. And a perfect segue into my latest tirade about the lamentable state of modern popular music. I mean, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yak, 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 yak. <clears throat> ah, yet. I'd like to talk about that charming yet mildly insidious looking bear on your desk. 
Can I see it? I don't know, Sam. Can you? <laughs> may I see it, please? No, you may not. And if I may say so, if there's one thing that grills my chicken, it's how our culture is in a state of modal decay. Can is not the same as may. Should is not the same as blah, blah, blah. Yuck. State nagging spree for a while. Blah, 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 blah. Yak, 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 yak. I'd like to sing my song again. Normally, I'd... Howl and at... Okay. And... So just the banjo Lovely. is... Lovely. Mainly because... Blah, 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 blah. Yak, uh, yak, yak, yak. Blah, blah, blah. Yakity, 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 yak. Blah, blah, blah. How would you even... Blah, blah. Ah yes, where were we? I. Me my <laughs> me myself. You Sam. Let's talk about you, Myra. Me? What could anyone want to know about me? Maybe they'd like to know how honored you are to have me, Max, brilliant actor and acerbic wit, on your show. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? I'd like to talk about myself. And a project you're working on, perhaps? You said it, Myra. I am an ongoing project, like a golden cabin. <laughs> People are sacrificing their firstborn unto me. Also, I'd like to direct. Fame went to your head quickly, dear. It's a short trip. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? I guess we have There's to, but I don't What's know that? what you want me to tell you. It's not us. It's uh, our evil twins, Saul and Mark. I thought I was the evil twin. Sam, I refuse to let my low opinion of you curtail my disappointment. Did you really think anyone would buy such an unbelievable story? Is there a way to answer that without being lectured? No, there <laughs> isn't. You know, millions of Americans suffer from malevolent bling syndrome. It's no laughing matter. And for you to blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Blah, 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 yak. <clears throat> what a ah, yes. talk show. Where were we? I think we were discussing the... There's more you should... What's that? Can I swap? There are still After others saying involved. there's people involved. You're joking. Who? Hmm. So all the soda poppers said no. Despite one of them saying it was a, a brother, I'm pretty sure. Bessie Mood. Cowboys like no. I'd like to talk about me. I prefer my guests naked egos to be just a little less naked, dear. Oh, absolutely, Myra. That's exactly what Reese Butterfingers told me when sniping river rats at Cannes. She thought I had the cool-eyed aim of a professional. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? Hmm. I'd like to mention my pal Sam and something that happened the other day. Anecdotes about other celebrities. Well, I was battering the. That's the, the same point thing. Okay. Are you sure? One of the soda poppers. Ooh. Oh my! Hmm. Okay. I've changed my mind. I can't bring myself. All right. Honestly, have no idea what in the heck sh this lady wants. There's she wants to talk about, about the that? thing, but I've literally actually tried every option on this. It doesn't tell the whole story. Someone else How involved shocking. definitely adds in more. This dude's just like, no. All of them are no. The cows, no. Hmm. One of the soda poppers. Can oh, I my. swap here? No. I'm not quite sure what he said before. Let's see what Specs said again. again. Specs. 
Let's fuel my indignation and call spec. Why didn't I my brother? Sweet. How can I hear something so blah blah blah? <laughs> yak yak yak. Okay, right. He just wants to talk about that. I feel like there has to be a way to. Mm. Yes, I feel like this book could be pulled out, and then the water would drip onto the megaphone. With a microphone, not megaphone. Ah, yes. Hmm. There's more you should know. What's that? Because this is just a dead end. This is just a dead end. This isn't a dead end. There are still others. <gasps> Incredible. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. This isn't. But One of then the when you poppers. go into it, <gasps> oh my. it's also a dead Which end. One? Despite your missing. Just is it's not true, Myra. They gave that term grows pig. more appalling every time I don't understand it. Blah 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 blah. Yak 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 yak. Bloody 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 bloody. Yakety 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 yak. Are we not safe? But we're in danger too. Little hypno bear. Blah 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 blah. Yak 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 yak. Bloody 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 bloody. Yakety 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 yak. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 yakety 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 yak blah 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 You look like you could use a shave Myra Well I never blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 yakety 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 blah 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 blah. Yak, she appears yak, to have yak, plenty yak, to say blah, already. Britain Barney's yak, alien yak, friend yak, on the Flintstones. Testing one two three. Ah yes. Where were we? There's more you should know about that. What's that? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's all just the same stuff. What the heck? It doesn't tell the whole. <laughs> One of. Oh my! Hmm. I've changed my. All right. Where did you get? It's funny you. That woman cannot. She need a. She <laughs> need a parachute. Yak 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 yak. Bloody 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 bloody. Yakety 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 yak. Blah blah blah. I'd like to shave that skeevy. Blah 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 blah. Yak 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 yak. Bloody 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 bloody. Yakety 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 yak. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 blah yakety 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 yak blah 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 no thanks I can't get close enough to do that not that I'd want to anyway hey Max speak Blah 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 yak 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 bloody bloody blah We've gotta stop this TV program. Stop it! It's the greatest moment of my deeply superficial life. Nonetheless, we'll be trapped here forever if we don't do something. Look, unless you take out Myra or that bear or both, you'll never stop it. I say, relax and enjoy the unreal soul hollowing ride. Yak 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 bloody 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 yak 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 blah 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 blah. Blah 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 yak 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 bloody 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 blah yakety 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 yak blah 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 never mind then I shall reach bloody 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 blah yakety 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 yak blah 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 
Blah blah blah blah. Yak 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 yak. Bloody 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 bloody. Yakety yak. <clears throat> ah yes. Where? There's more. You sh. What's that? There are still others in. <gasps> How sh. Despite his the only reason doesn't give me an option to do anything Mine, while these people I are here, right? To you. I would never nope. participate. What can I say but blah 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 hmm. yak 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 okay. yak well, bloody, 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 give me one quick second. I'll be right back. I just gotta take a bit of a heckin' bio break. So I will be real quick. Okay, sorry. I'm back. Let's try out. A few things, maybe. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were just. Hmm. I'd like to sing a song from my... I'm almost certain the audience... Howlin'. She's a... And... Okay, what a wonderful... Blah, 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 blah. Yak, 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 yak. Bloody, 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 bloody. Yakety, yak. <clears throat> ah, yes. The bear's evil, Myra. Mind your manners with my get... Blah, blah, blah. Yak, yak, yak. Unwise. What about this? Because this lets me do. One, two, three. I'm not touching that thing. I'd probably get shocked. What if I inhale and then I use the banjo? 
yakety 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 Testing, blah, blah, one, blah, two, blah, three. Blah, blah, blah. I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. Whoa, careful there, Tiger. That was wonderful. I'm so moved I almost don't have a long hectoring squaring. Thank <laughs> goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 This seems... Ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love tri... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's we more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. In Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh my! I don't think it would matter Audience, who I pick. Shall we bring her back out again? At this again? point, I'm pretty sure this is good. Had a great time on stream, but I'm gonna head out. Hope you all have a great time. Hey! Well, Hacker Man, I hope you have a good night too. Care, At the risk team. of making the obvious comment, that was shocking! Is she breathing? A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nuts! I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another <laughs> glorious dream bangs its chin on the dirty pavement. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. You healthy? Sure thing. Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Bread logs make me loki. Let's head back to the cooking the show toy set mafia. see if we can figure out how to make fried pork rinds. Okay, but I get the feet. Oh. Thank the gods. <laughs> that talk show uh, went on forever. Glad it's over. <laughs> okay. Do I see about doing another one where Hemp. The little bear's got a gun now. The mole, the mob, and the meatball. The commissioner's looking into an underground operation at Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland. Sounds legit. Oh, Playland and Casino. But the mole he sent in has uh, suddenly gone quiet. Find the mole, Sam and Max must infiltrate the operation and become members of the Toy Mafia themselves. Oh my goodness. They're totally not Mafia at all.
I swear, if there's no meatballs in this, I'll be upset. He's spaghetti. Hiya, Sam. Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya. <laughs> <gasps> I got it. I got it. Ow. Hello, Mr. <laughs> Commissioner. The heck? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just <laughs> write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city. The Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life, but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland uh. and Casino. The sallowest place on earth? Oh boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star shaped mole or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, well, I never, then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! <laughs> it sounds great. What is this little... Jimmy Two Teeth, fence. It's a sad day when hard-working rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers! What customers? <laughs> what customers? Hey, an ace! An extra card up your sleeve never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. <laughs> the heck? Kind of tempting to see what Bosco's got, but let's just head off to the thing right away. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! See what kind of mischief we can get into. Now oh, that looks totally legit. A place for kids? Check, check slot poker and ashtrays. Hmm. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. <laughs> You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 
13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our... Oh. He shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. <laughs> These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head. Cause a mistrial and win a souvenir magnet. Ooh. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. Hit 20 what to win. What way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Note, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Always so do. Play. One token is what I have, though. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> oh no. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. <laughs> a one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bears. Dealer Leonard Guard. Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs, Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> Why don't you tell me? We'll be back. Like I care. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? That ain't Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? <laughs> by cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider <laughs> that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat oh, people heck. for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Hmm. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like a uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. Does the carpet match the drapes? <laughs> no, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception.
Hmm. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> common mistake. Rumble mumble. Hello there, freaky bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. <laughs> Wanna play cards? Talk to you later. Wanna play cards? <laughs> what the heck? Hi, Levy Bear. Having fun? Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy! And remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder though, is it? Because I only have one token, right? That makes me think I can only play one game, technically. I guess we try it, though. Whack the rats. Insert token to play. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Now have fun. How can we not? Capiche. Oh. Hell yeah, 21? My high school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the rat. The I'll hike. As advertised, it's Rapid an almost entirely back. worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, <laughs> you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. <laughs> let's go shoot something. The Rat King. Can I put the magnet on the finger dinger? The magnet wouldn't look good there. You sure? I feel like it would. The magnet wouldn't look good there. I feel like it would. I really feel like it would. The magnet wouldn't look good there. I feel like it would look real good there. How many tokens do I have? Hmm. I feel like he's maybe not honest about this. We'll see what we can do, I guess. 
Hello, cuddly bear. Wanna play cards? We'd like to develop a gambling addiction starting oh, now. Sad face. Hey, Leonard. So we have to. What was it? Guess our own card? We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner, and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. Wow. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, in or out. Folder bet. My thing says tokens. Sure, we'll bet a token. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Stick Chama win. Mama was wrong. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a sturdy oaken staff to really do the job. We'll be back. Just remember to bring your money. Okay. Is this still tokens? Yeah, it is. Okay. Can I put this on my head? I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. I don't suppose I can slip Could this you into use an extra ace. All our decks have five aces already. Keeps the players happier. <laughs> five aces already. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I would put an ace on my hat without him noticing. Is that poker guy psychic or what? It's like he can see his own card. I'm sure he just cheats. I would. I would too. I just gotta Let's figure out. In casino magic. I've got a couple of rabbit's feet for luck. <laughs> I mean, you do. Bear. Wanna play cards? We wanna play cards. Back for a little more. Just a little more. Just a little bit. Deal. All right. Bold. What, no 10 million token bet? Nope. I just always know when I got the lower card. Call it my sixth sense. Or seventh, if you count my sense of humor. Ugh. We don't. Well, we're certainly never getting rich at this rate. Hmm. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a duck. A common mistake. <sighs> I wonder if 
there is anything at Bosco's, maybe. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack. Son of God, I'm blue. Who is this, Bosco? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. No. <laughs> but you may call me Jean-Francois Bandepart, the new A French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't uh -huh. know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The Toy Mafia. <gasps> They've got it in for me. Take a number, guys. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. Ah, but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. Something to your store, you say? Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. Uh, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or well, my name is not Jean-Francois Bandepard. But your name's not Jean-Francois... They don't know that. <laughs> we want to buy something. Oui, oui, Monsieur. Monsieur? What do you got? Oh la la. Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A device. Non Perello Chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What to do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. <laughs> no, I mean, yes. Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. Hmm. Unfortunate. Nothing for us right now. Zip. What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one... I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And <laughs> two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. Greatest invention in the world? Details. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tads. It is a b tad part deal. Hmm. See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> All right. Doesn't seem to have anything to pick up. Is there, was there something in the office I maybe missed? I just want to have a quick peek. Oh, the bear's in here. This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP-TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. I think everything's all the same apart from the 
spare in the closet. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. Nice red button you got there. Insert token to play. Okay, let's give it a try. Goron, buy it. Sweet mother of bleary eyed gambling addiction. We won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one armed bandit. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. Okay. If I could get the listening device, I could probably hear what he's saying to that duder. Got an ace up my sleeve. I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. <laughs> Got an ace up my sleeve. I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. Hmm. I never really asked him what he wanted for that hearing to or listening device. Die. Disturbing bear heads. Oh. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours. Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. Hmm. It sticks. Hello, cuddly bear. Want to play cards? Yeah, I do. We want to play cards. Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Just a teeny bit. Deal. All right. Ten million, and you only gotta bet one. So, in or out? I'll bet. Sure, we'll bet a token. Bet. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. Do the I dog though? Win. What? I you you cheated me. What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You pay up, Steak Chama. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats 10 million times in a row without passing out. Heck yeah. <laughs> Poor little Leonard. Okay, I think... 
with that, we probably could go back to Boscow and get that listening device. Oh my goodness. Caleb the goat, hey, thank you for the follow and welcome into the proto pack. Pleasure to have you joining us. I hope you're doing well. Bonjour. Hey, Bosco. So, uh... We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. <laughs> stinky by pants. By the secret stench of St. Gainsbourg. These are not American dollar. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prices of dead bears can be quite useful. I accept, and in return, I give you the miniature listening device. Oh, this no. is a bug. Mon, does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Be right back, sure now thing. Listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory, and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again, and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was in Nam, boy! You don't want to know oh, what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! Oh, no. bugs. And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! <gasps> so yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> These cameras watch you wherever you go. Whee! <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! My favorite. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. You know what? Home of the losingest slots in town. <laughs> Home of the losingest slots. Organic listening device. Money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. Oh, wow, funny. You know, it would be it'd be a shame if there was something behind you here. Did yeah, you I got on? it. Now listen. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be what? A hundred times I've come through that door today? And you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. Okay. Give me the password. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Empia. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look, that must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm <laughs> Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. 
Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? <laughs> hmm. I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least I've always Oops. wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckle, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. <gasps> there are three jobs I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody. I want you to whack somebody. And I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Okay. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Okay. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain Sybil Pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other low Sounds life. detective -y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. <laughs> I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy <laughs> Mafia. Verbally overwrought. Oh, right. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Okie dokie, then. Oh heck, that duder's gone. I guess we'll go to Sybil's first since she's right here. <laughs> Let's just get it longer and longer. Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean Dame. I mean Dame person. Isn't Dame person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam. Max. Thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... <laughs> How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The Toy Mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. <laughs> I think they meant murder. Mm. Have you considered the possibility of staging your own deaths to throw the Toy Mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Big payoffs, graft, corruption? The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. 
always liked antiques. So are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. You seem, understandably, a little tense. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes. The coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so... But I mean, how stress can reduce you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. Is that what happened to me? Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? We'll be back. I know you will. Okay. You're the only two I can trust. Ouch! Really? She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. Okay. And she had, like, chloroform in these... Tissues from Is this the kind with right? aloe in the sheets for extra softness? Chloroform, actually. Some of my therapy patients used to get a little rowdy. Can I take these? I'm afraid to touch those. Hmm. In here, an axe, a cow. Hmm. Oh, dear. <laughs> what does this one say? Very convenient if you haven't got a bulletin board. Hmm. The reason I was thinking the chloroform was just like put it in the coffee and she pass out. Hello there. What brings you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear? Bosco, how does BTAD's part do work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stole. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Vive la France! Okay. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? You are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. You will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. <gasps> what if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. <laughs> I gotta see what he's reading. This makes sense, right? If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. <gasps> Special delivery. Yeah, eat pavement camera. Oh, the society pages. It must be skull and bones. Whee! <laughs> Pretending to read the gardening section. <gasps> so it's true. Dastardly. He is Toy Mafia. I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. He's coming in. We're done for. No matter what, Bear. I surrender. I surrender. Uh, I told you this would happen. I told you he would deliver, and he delivered. I can't believe that guy. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh, yeah. You're real busy. You've just been loading around my store all day. 
What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Wait. Now, normally I would think to put coffee in there. But they want us to murder her, right? So... Hear me out. What if we just put ketchup in it? Is that a possibility? Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> Who's joking? Whee! Oh no. <laughs> Get out of here. Hey, wait a second. Why didn't B Taz part do work? Uh, my camera! Oh no, no, no! Funny, I wonder where that went. <laughs> Love it if it was just in the middle of the street. Goodness, thank you. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me. <laughs> lose my head? Oh, yeah, you'll lose your head. <laughs> Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally. Hey, Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, John. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up. Which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey Sam, are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball sandwich. Oh yeah. That rat in our house was like a... a peddler or something, right? So actually, let's go have a look. Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you it's a two. toy gun, isn't it? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to fence something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread, I'll shoot you both. Oh, hemp. But I mean... Hmm... Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No! Sick him, little buddy! I thought you'd never sick! <laughs> thought you'd never oh. sick. Oh. Mama. Okay, Leonard. Are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is, or are we gonna have to get rough, er? Say rough! Rougher. Say rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno-heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another <laughs> follower. 
Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You right mean? in the mother? Oh That's my right, goodness. Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. <gasps> oh! Yay! No, not that! Anything but that! Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmin as a team. Follow my lead. Hell yeah. Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, ooh. More folds than an origami accordion. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it's true. <laughs> it's it's true. working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Uh. Yo mama's so radiant. She fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, <laughs> we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Uh, let's just work down the... Yo mama's so thrifty. She beat out Sam for that. No. Sort with her own material. She brings coupons to the penny arcade. Oh no. She brings coupons to the penny arcade. Oh mama make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. <laughs> Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah. Uh Yo mama's so perky. What would it? The only time she's low is at the limpo <laughs> contest. <laughs> I think the rest are just rehashes. The this is the only time she's low is at a limbo contest. <laughs> stop! Please stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's do <laughs> no. it one more time, Sam. Hmm. Vulgar. Punctual. How about vulgar? We'll just so keep working vulgar. down. Her mouth would make a long, short, and blush. It's gotta be that one, right? Her mouth would make a long, shoreman blush. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mom alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerk man. On my desk. How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker. <laughs> I'm a Wait, duty. Aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Just leave him in a tiny desk. <laughs> Anybody? Where are we going, Sam? The heck. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ask about our frequent bankruptcy program. <laughs> I'd like to know about the frequent bankruptcy program.
presto, a non-armed bandit no longer. Mm, token? You're on fire. Success. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomain, no. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is. I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. <laughs> Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. <laughs> You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. Uh -oh. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Me. My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask, which is good, because I can barely talk through the stupid thing. <gasps> That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getup. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Oh, Wait, no! So I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or Ted E. Bears. For all we know, the original teddy bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. <laughs> Perhaps so. Oh my goodness. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. Only Not the bulletproof tires. Horribly, horribly Oh, okay, you can't drive when you're. This is not. Is that all? Of Heck them? yeah! All but okay, one. that works. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey! Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, do not enter under pain of death. Hmm. Tis kind of tempting. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting. But it probably doesn't mean <laughs> yeah, I'm Mafia. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently, Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. Oh, no. Everyone's just staring at each What's other. What's a dangerous basically. crime outfit without readily available liquor? True. What do you think we should do? That back door looks rather inviting. It does, though. Simnister door? Do not enter under pain of death. 
Signed, Don Teddy Bear. Not much keeping us from going back there now, is there? Nope. <laughs> nope. Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? Okay. I'm scandalized! You two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these! Oh, be no. honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you, then! This hypno bear will make you my willing slaves! <laughs> you can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the hypno bear! Whatever Teddy Bear said. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. What really? he said. Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend! I command it! This flows. This <laughs> flows. Well, I mean, as fun as it would be, we did get the cap gun. I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxie? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Really? Oh, the pain. And only two days to retirement. No, not two days. Timo the Duke's a hazard for me. Promise me. Okay, so a cowards die a thousand deaths. Well, heroes die but once, unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, <laughs> fresh prince, and may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right. Well, so cold. Why am I so cold? Oh dear. That can't be good, right? Okay. Good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave. <laughs> You run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, Master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. <laughs> Ominous machinery, menacing computer, unintelligible console, teddy bear, offer. Subject to bombings by shoes? rival gangs or raids by the U.S. Treasury Department. The heck! You're on fire. Hmm. Wonder. Hopper. 
Okay, so if I put this Framel Watts it in this Flingle Flipper. Framel Watts it in the Fringle Flipper. The Frangle Dangle and the Dungle Donger. Isn't that cute? This is quite a gizmo. Master. What is it, hypnotic slave? Something wrong with the machine? No. Then don't bother me. I give him maybe I give him the bear. Be like, I hey, know what's she's up? married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on I'm on fire! Help! Help! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! <laughs> okay, that works, yeah. And then we saw that he gets sucked. There's nothing. Suckatron 5000, do your job. Oh boy. Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look. Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life-threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? <laughs> I forget. Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That one. Come on. Is this one? That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really Not broken up about table. that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him Ooh. how we crack the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. Who's this, this dude? This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Chuckles, no. Oh, him. That wasn't as bad as the other one. I was also a little bit dumb about what in the heck that lady wanted me to do, but still. <laughs> Sandwiches, pokers, and guns? <laughs> no. What a song. 
just makes me want to go there even more. Really. Heck. Okay, well, with that, for tonight, I think I will call it here. And then... Maybe not tomorrow, but the day after, I will come back with another stream, so... Probably we'll continue on with some more of this, I'm thinking. Finish off the rest. Mm, might consider doing something else, but I kind of think we'll, we'll have a look at finishing this one off. And then we can have a look at the other game as well. But, let me take a quick peek and have a look who might be streaming right now and who I can send us off on a raid to. And I just wanted to say beforehand, also, thank you everyone for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure. Jay, thank you for the raid. And Caleb, thank you for the follow. Much love. And Rapid. And Heckin... Hemkin... Beautiful, sweet bean. Too much sometimes. But Rapid, thank you for the biddies. And Tyler, thank you for the sub. Do appreciate it. Right, who do we who do we have here? Mm -hmm. I can't really scroll down with this heckin' thing, can I? sent us off on a little raid arena elfish laddie again been a little while since I sent some love to that bean uh, they're currently playing some ghost of Tsushima I think that's how I say it here. any beans that maybe have the emotes or if you want to use your own feel free that would be the 
Oh, raid message. I want to use it. And I will send us off on our little raid arena. Again, thank you everyone for being here. I hope you had at least a little bit of fun. This game was absolutely lovely. Do have a... <laughs> do kind of feel a bit... Upsetty spaghetti about the the heck and talk show interview part because man that was that was a doozy and a half. Maybe because my brain was a literal potato, but man. got there in the end, I guess. But fun game as well, and I look forward to playing some more. I look forward to having you all here again when I do that if you decide to stop on by. Without further ado, send us off on a raid, and I hope you all have a fantastic heckin' day or night. <laughs>